Ready? Okay, that's rolling. Yep. My name is Abe Marina. I'm from Cardwell in North Queensland. Uh, I'm here today at the museum to uh, give a bit of an explain, explanatory conversation of, on a bicornial basket that you have here. First of all, we'll, we'll look at the basket, shall we? This is made out of lawyer cane, grows in the rainforest of North Queensland. Um, the lawyer cane is a, it's a long a cane that grows, grows to about 10 metres and uh, it only can be harvested at a certain time, at certain maturity to get the right sort of lawyer cane. This basket you have to, to start off, you've got to get about a good 50 or so length of uh, lawyer cane, maybe a hundred lengths, uh, and then you cut it into strips, and you start off with this strips that goes up and down. To, and you can go that thickness or even thinner, more finer, and uh, usually you see the real fine ones are so intricate, intricately made. They start at the bottom in making this basket. Start here. First they weave all these strands together certain amount, numbers, and then when you look in through there they put a rib on it to hold it rigid. Once they've done that, they begin to go back and forth on either side of that rib. Always they, but as they go away, they move away from the rib at the center of the basket, but at the end, they keep going back at the end to create the point. And that he always always get to be a gradual distance. Here they got about they went up to three went up three uh width and they put another ribbon so they gave us a width of about three 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 weaves three lots of weaving then they put in three put in a line of three ribs and then they gave it another space of two empty ones and then the three ribs again and then the three quick one right at the end, very close together to give it that strength right at the top. Normally they do a tuck along here, 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 and sometimes here on the side. There's one there and that gives it the unique shape. You can see right at the belly, this, this would come out and as it get towards the top here, they tuck it again, which would then close the top. The handles are always done the same way. The handle is made of a different type of uh, lawyer cane, a much uh, bigger variety. They never use the same size as this, and uh, it's always made in a certain way, located at the same position, because that is where the strength is. This here transfers all the weight back to here, so that when you put a load in it, it doesn't flatten out 
or the worm doesn't sag too far out. And that is the purpose of the two ends. The handle are always made the same way uh, and usually always tied with the same knot. And it is incredible to think that they n normally done these just by splitting the cane between their teeth to get the uniform size. They never used a knife. So that's amazing. And the darker color of this is probably because it was uh, hung around the fireplace, which act, the smoke act as some sort of preservative and it'll preserve it for a very long time because normally if you made this without preserving it in the rainforest it'll only last for about 12 months and it'll just deteriorate very very quickly because of the humidity in the rainforest and uh, uh, all the moisture the heat and it'll just quickly, quickly uh, rot away, wood rot will set in, so if it's been treated, they first put it through the fire, the cane, the actual cane, that day the actual width of the cane, that's what you start off with, so it's used as the strength of that cane here, like a rib. So that's put through the fire to give it the flexibility and the strength and, um, and to make it last. So this basket was probably made during the period when Aboriginal were moved from the uh, tribal area because it doesn't come up to the uh, standard of the very old ones that you see pre-1800, uh, early 1900s, around 1920s, late 18, 1889, 1890. Around there the quality began to deteriorate. But the basket was still being made and, and it was more simpler than the very uh, exquisite stuff. So in all my uh, probably 15, nearly 20 years of studying it, um, it's, it's what I realized that it had to be the only sort of trade that was passed down a weaving skill anyway passed down. You had to, you cannot just go into a, a bush and decide you want to make a basket. Um, it'll take you years. Now, whereas it was a boomerang or anything, you, you learn it in about six months to make a boomerang that'll fly and come back if you've got the right people teaching you. Uh, this thing, it takes probably six months to just weave it, let, an, let alone to learn every technique along the way. So, a very unique artifact in itself. Thank you. Thank you. Can we